Hello everyone, this is Bruno Souza here uh, talking to you from Tampa, Florida and I'm here right in front of the Columbia restaurants, a very famous restaurant here in Tampa. Uh, it's a, it's a, a Cuban restaurant, right? And they have this amazing sandwich, but we, we ate an amazing food inside. Uh, seems to be like a many hundreds year old restaurant. It says it's the oldest restaurant in the US, like amazing place, right? And I'm here with another amazing person, right? You know, the amazing restaurant, amazing person, right? I'm here with the Java champion, Loyani Groiner. Hey, Loyani, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, Bruno. That's great. So, Loyani is a Java champion. She is a Microsoft MVP. Uh, she's a Google developer expert, right? So, she's, she's working all kinds of things. She uh, has many book, books published in Java, in JavaScript, Angular. So you're doing everything. Almost. <laughs> All right. So, Loyan, we're, we're discussing here uh, during, during dinner, we're discussing about, because, you know, you already have 17 years of experience. So you have this long history of development and, and, and you have experience as, as a manager. So what happens when you get to that level, when you get like, you know, a top senior, a top, uh, lots of experience. So what, what should developers be looking for, in, uh, you know, after that? So um, once we get experience, um, of, of course, we, we want to learn all the, you know, most techno technological tools that are out there, you know, top notch technologies. But one, one thing that is very important to keep in mind is any decision that we make, architecture des decision or design decision for our systems, they have to be the best that they are for the use case scenario and for the solution that we are trying to, to develop. So, we have to choose what's the right tool for that particular use case. So that's the, th the thing. That's why you know because you have to choose the right tool. The thing that's why uh, you know because you you are like a polyglot, right? You have lots of different languages, lots of different technologies. Do you think that developers should be like this, or it's more important to be focused in one thing? I think it depends uh, on what's your goal for your career. Um, I, I did went for both, you know, back end. I started as a back end developer, went a little bit to the front end as well, but that happened naturally. There are folks that want to know a little bit of everything uh, since the beginning of their career. Uh, for some other people, things will, will, you know, happen naturally as well. So it really depends on the focus that, that you want. And for companies, you know, depending on the company as well, they will have a little bit of, of, of everything. They will have specialists and they will have folks that are more uh, general as well. So th th there's a place for everyone. It, it really, again, it really depends on the, on the business case, what's the scenario, what's the project that we are working on. Okay, now uh, there's one thing that you're doing that not every developer wants to do, that is to become a manager, right? Yeah. And, and I know that you know, uh, people like to do that, some people don't like to do that. For those that want to do it, right? Do you have any recommendations? Um, it's so becoming a manager and, and being a manager, there is a lot of, you know, working with people. So first of all, you have to like to work with people to have that, that close contact as well. Uh, but not only, you know, being involved, but when you become a manager, you're also going to be responsible for uh, the career of the, the, the folks that you're working with. So this is something that is very delicate and very important. So we ha also have to be very careful. So. I would say that empathy, so uh, that will be one of the, the skills or one of the things that we have to keep in mind as well, you know, put yourself on that person's place or, you know, put yourself in that person's shoes. Um, so it can help you make it, 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 can, it can help you to make all these decisions. Um, and again, it all needs to align at the end of the day, right, especially when you are a manager for for like a company, you have to align the company's goals as well because it's 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 one of your goals as a, a manager. But also keep in mind the goals for the people that you are working with because those goals are going to be equally as as important. Mm -hmm. And and how does how does the manager manages your own goals, right? Because you also have to think about what you want to do, how you want to grow your career, right? So uh, how hard it is to think about everyone else and also think about yourself this is definitely a very hard decision <laughs> and um, one of the things that um, 
one can struggle with <laughs> a little bit, right? Yeah, right. Um, but it, it, it can be a good path if this is something that you really want to work with, you know, working with, with, with leadership. Not Sometimes it's, it's, you have to make some hard decisions as well. So um, it's, it's not easy at, at 100% of, of, at the times. Um, but again, when you have to start thinking about your, your career, net, right, especially when you are like a staff, staff plus level, one of the things that they usually say that's also beneficial is to do the, the manager and the staff, like mm -hmm. the technical path, the, the, the pendulum, go back and forth, because there are many things that you can um, develop also being a, as a manager, especially the soft skills, mm -hmm. right? So um, sometimes when you are working only on the technical side, you're not going to have the, the opportunities to develop those, those soft skills. But when you are working as a manager, you're going to be a little bit more exposed to soft skills, because especially working with different different people is it's it's a little bit difficult, right? So right. Um, it, it, you have to learn a little bit. There's a little bit of psychology also involved, <laughs> but um, it's there, there's a lot of learning opportunities as well. Right. Yeah, because there's a lot of interesting uh, skills, guys. You know, uh, things like negotiation, being able to talk with with uh, the whole management uh, chain. Being able to talk as as the business needs to be to talk about like a new vocabulary. There's all kinds of skills, and if you can work a little bit as a manager, and then you can come back. Like you know, I like the idea of the pendulum that you just mentioned. Right? You can work as a manager. You can work as a technical person. That helps. A lot of people uh, think that you know those paths like management or staff plus uh, are paths that are like exclusive path, right? But no, you can actually having the technology and having the management skills, you can actually do both a little bit that's a really good that's a really good idea yeah. so so right now you're you're, you're doing you're doing your, your management part right yes so do you intend to do uh, more like a technical part in the future um hopefully yes <laughs> <laughs> that, that's something that um I, I wish to develop and and focus a little bit more in the future but you know who knows what what the future holds right now i gotta ask this because you are one of the the job developers uh that have a huge, uh, you know, uh, following on you know, social media. You have one of the largest uh, YouTube channels in the development uh, area. Um, had, you know, all the effort that you put in th on those those initiatives does does it pay off? I mean, how, do you do you grow your career? Especially, let me ask one specific question because lots of people say, but but you know, if I'm going to do those things, I'm not going to be improved technically. Does that help you in your career and also help you improve technically too? It does. It definitely does. Um, one of the things that especially creating videos for YouTube helped me um, is, you know, improve my speaking skills, my oratory skills in Portuguese. Um, so this is something that you can do. Also, when you are teaching other folks, um, you have to make sure of what you're talking about. So when you are teaching others is when there's a lot of learning growth that you, that you can do and make sure that you actually know that topic or, or that subject because if you are maybe on the fence maybe you have to study a little bit more before you can actually create some content especially like a video around it so i, I did learn a lot whenever i was creating videos and writing blog posts so there's a lot of research involved so again it's it's, it's a great way so you can uh, improve and uh, develop your skills and, and learn something new. Yeah, you see, you know, the, the, the thing that I, I find interesting is because Loyani uh, has been recognized as everything we talk about here by Google, by Microsoft, by Oracle, uh, as a Java champion, Microsoft MVP, uh, Google developer experts, and, and those things actually help you also participate in more interesting things, right? It's more yes. interesting projects, right? Definitely, yes. Um, and especially because when you have the chance, when you have the opportunity, opportunity to try out or, or test a new technology, you can learn that technology uh, and maybe bring that back to your company as well. Maybe you are thinking about adopting a new language or a new framework or a new approach, new design or w whatever it is. Um, that can help you, you know, to be one step ahead than everybody else within your company or you know, even within the, the, the professional market as well. Yeah. So there's a lot of benefits. That's great, Loyani. So you have achieved a lot of things, right? So you, you, you moved to the U.S. You're very happy here. Congratulations for everything that you're doing, right? So thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks for helping us out. Thank you, and thanks, thank you for having me here. Thank you. Okay, guys, so 
This is Bruno Souza with Loyani, directly from Tampa. I'll see you guys next next video.